All right, guys, so we're going to learn how to use Sketchbook Pro. Uh, one of the things you may want to do is open the program, obviously. Uh, this is the lagoon down here, and this is your, uh, your brush panel, which you can bring up, and my color editor. Anything that you don't know where it is, you just go to Window. Like, for example, I like having my layer editor, just like I do in Photoshop, show up. Uh, so there it is. I can have multiple layers. Obviously, I'm drawing on this layer currently, and so I'm going to just... You know, maybe it doesn't dock, so I'll just see if I can. It's a way to snap this. I just forget how to do it. And my color editor. So it's kind of what I need right now. And I'm going to use this pen tool right here for. Uh, okay, so I'm going to click on that. And uh, a lot like I'm going to use the uh, rectangle tool. And I guess try to get as good of a rectangle as you can drawing with the tablets. I realize it's not. So command Z. Could Jordan Burnett please come to The first things you want to do is try and draw a couple straight lines and see how it goes, if it's like uh, very responsive or not. And one of the things I find uh, with uh, the stylus responsiveness is like, I usually put it around here somewhere. You might be maxed out as a much straighter line. That's just because my hand is leaning on it. So command Z is my friend. So I'm going to go and do another straight line and do another straight line and maybe another straight line now i'll just go man z this one trick you want to do is do it in one stroke and well i want a nice triangle so i'm going to go like this and then i take my pen off the uh, pad then i'm going to go down here okay command z that did not work so good Command z then I may want to go get an eraser tool and just fix what I need here. Okay. And that up here is my paint bucket tool. And I'm going to get my color. I want to paint my, I'm going to make an angry bird. So I'm going to just, whoops, command Z. And I'm going to select here and here. And whoops, command Z. I'm going to paint in there. I'm really happy with that. Then I'm going to go back to my pen tool. And uh, these pucks tools here just, just to show you, you can move them. This is the opacity puck. This is the color puck. So you can, you know, click and see how it goes darker in the same red. And then up here, lighter. So you got your shades as well. So I just click and drag in here. So that's meant to be a lot, you know, if you were going to try and repaint a different color over here for some reason and you want that same. Okay. Uh, and then what I want you to do is I'm going to, Using preferably, and I didn't say this a while ago, but whatever you're drawing, use those uh, handouts that I gave you and try to uh, to make uh, drawings based on that. So um, if I go to the reference image, I'm basically drawing an angry bird. I can't remember off the top here, so I'm just going to go and look to the Give me a second here. So I'm recording and I go back and there are different, I, I just noticed I made it red, doesn't matter. I'm going to do a little black uh, top here. So I'll use that brush and, you know, don't make it look exactly the same as theirs. And I could just use the paint bucket tool, it's just easier to fill that in. And I'll go back and forth, alt tab. It's got a little tail here. I'm going to do that. And I'll say that's good enough for now. Maybe I want to color that in. And I'm going to go, I don't know the hotkeys here. If somebody figures that out, let me know. And let's go back. He's got some eyebrows. Now, one trick you may want to do is to create a new layer. Just click the plus button and draw your new uh, features on the new layer and then merge them after. So I'm going to get go. He's got those little eyebrows kind of like that. So uh, one, and we need to make sure, obviously, on the paintbrush tool. I'm going to go over here and draw like these no that's not good enough i want narrow eyebrows i'm gonna go to the not so good but you get the idea and i'm gonna just put those as yellow go get the paint bucket tool definitely the wrong color i always make that mistake you can do command alt set multiple times in this program Go like this and then I'm gonna go get the brush you gotta click on it or else it'll stay in the other nope, I want that to be black click over here
Okay, I can color those in. Z, Z, and you can go get the zoom tool here. It's very handy. So click and zoom in that way. And I turn it, I click and turn it off when I'm happy and bring it back up after. So I'm going to make that black. You can do this. We'll get black and let's just. Didn't select it properly. Try that, that, Alt Tab. So I'm going to create a little uh, probably do this on a separate layer. Well, it is on a separate layer right now. So go like this. I'm going to go white. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. I'm going to click Paint Bucket Tool. It's easier. Alt Tab. I want a beak. So why don't I use a black stroke for the edge? Always, it's always nicer in cartoon drawings. And I didn't show you this. My brush is too thick. I just go over here and I have it at 2.0, uh, which I like. So you can just move that in the opacity. I noticed at 90%, that's probably not so good, but make sure you have that. Oops, Command Z. And I'm gonna close this, press here. And I wanna draw the beak. I forget exactly. I need to make sure I hit the brush here. So I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to draw a nice line here. I'll pretend that's good enough. And I go get the color. The paint bucket tool. I want orange, I believe. And then I'm just going to click here. Oops, forgot to click. Over here. And that same thing as before. If you hit the, oh, it's the same color. And Alt Z like this and like this. And that's not a very nice looking bird because I'm going really quickly. But you basically want that, uh, you know, using that. And then when you're happy, you can go File, Save, and Export as JPEG. If you need to work, you actually can save as Photoshop files in here. So you can do that. Click Save. You're not done. If you are done, your three characters. Save as and as a JPEG and, you know, give it the proper bird name. So Angry Birds or whatever. Then upload that to Google Classroom. Now I've used my pen for the, the whole thing here. So if you had a transparent background, you could. Uh, and, you know, try to make three uh, characters using uh, those tutorials. So that's your goal for today. If you have any questions, please let me know.